So I'm back reviewing um, shows and movies. And I, you know, I, I did a little channel update explaining why I was going to be gone for a little bit. And I wanted to talk about Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. And the reason why is um, in a few weeks we are getting a movie adaptation of the Netflix series, which is based on this movie. And I intend to go through all the Netflix series and review it for my channel. Uh, but I had to start where it came from. Um, now, from what I know about the Netflix series, I've not started with it. This movie has no relation to it, except for the name. But I want to talk about the movie. I think it's a very underrated movie, a very underrated animated movie. It's a good movie, too. Spirit is a 2D animated movie that was... Uh, back when DreamWorks actually used to do that. And um, this is a mixed bag of a movie. It's a movie that there is a lot to appreciate here artistically. Uh, number one, the animation. The 2D animation is and facial expressions on, this ho on these horses and the amount of life they're able to communicate just through the subtle expressions and details of the animation. Phenomenal. Gorgeous stuff. Where this movie falls apart is the music. First of all, the music does not fit the tone. There is an over-reliance on it, too, especially in the beginning half of this movie. Um, this movie is a, and it could have been a silent film. And they have Matt Damon narrating everything throughout the movie. Very obvious stuff that is told through the animation. And it's very irritating, and it, and it really hurts this movie. Because you can see how this could be a very beautiful, silent movie about these horses and their journey. And um, and the music, again, doesn't fit the tone. You know, the only characters that should have really talked within this movie are, really, are the humans. There's no reason that Matt Damon's character, horse character needed to narrate the whole movie. It just didn't work. And it felt very much like a studio mandated thing where they felt like children weren't going to go see a movie like this unless the there was some narration. But I, I really, I think, number one, it ruins the movie. And then it's also like, if we go based on their perspective, which is that they didn't think children would watch this movie, would they really watch a movie if it like this if it had the narration? It wouldn't change too much to what... And it wouldn't appeal much more to the kids. Um, so this is it, this movie has a beautiful Hans Zimmer score, which is super underrated. Hans Zimmer is a beautiful composer. Uh, you know, he doesn't really get the credit he deserves a lot of the time. Uh, and this is one of his most beautiful scores, I think. Uh, the track Homeland is just beautiful. And I wish that they toned down the pop music. And focus more on the score because the score was so beautiful, the animation was so beautiful that this could have been one of the best DreamWorks movies ever made. Um, but it ended up being kind of this mixed bag of a movie, which I think is unfortunate because now you kind of see why it's such a forgettable animated movie is because this is a movie that has so many great things going for it, but it fails to. Um, it fails to all come together, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate when you can see movies that are so great in so many things that they do, but they just miss the mark just enough that it ruins all the other good stuff about this movie. And I think this is a unfortunate movie for that. 